हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिजिट्स ऑन अल्फाबेट्स सेल्फ एवोल्यूशन एवोल्यूट योर वे टुडे वी शो द पिक्चर्स ऑलरेडी शोन ऑन द बोर्ड and we'll go for evaluation for second third and fourth standards on these pictures so let us start with that one uh, everybody knows this is the picture of this is the one uh, sony and the picture is also been drawn and now there are some pictures in here you just see it is you can say this type of shape and like this like this and all so this is we can say this is the crispy salty snacks and this the eggs and this the mobile phone this is the ball and this is a picture of heart just as you what we can do with this type of pictures now let us see these pictures you can say we can give the just name this way we can say this is a p we put it over it here then we will put it r here then we will put it c here and this will put it h here that means p o r c h the name of this now we can say the what type of shape it represents this crispy salty snack this this shows in the picture the shape of this one this also so the this type of shape and this is also showing the see this type of shape and this is one this type of shape we can say this is the triangle this is triangle this is triangle this is oval this is rectangle and this is circular and this is a heart you can say this a eight now this dot someone has brought you can just say that is the samuel samuel has brought that this dot the samuel means is we can say the a square the square is for square now just evaluate yourself if i tell you with the help of this type these figures can you draw the picture of a heart just evaluate yourself now we can say this is the first if we say this shape i have taken this is the triangle shape i have taken then i will take the rectangular shape then i will take one square here again we'll put it the door here we we'll put one ventilator Let's see. This is the roof is it is in a triangular shape and the rectangular shape. The wall it is the square in shape. The ventilator it is in circular in shape and the door it is in rectangular shape. I hope you could uh, draw any more pictures 
and you got me something. This is for where I can say this is a second standard and third standard students. We will go further. Now we will go. Yes, I am Ravi Deep. Huh? I am Ravi Deep. Now I will go. The name of this triangle. P I I A N G L E. This is the triangle. This triangle we can say. Now just see the numerical position of P. The numerical position of P is twenty plus. R is the eighteen. Then I is nine. A is one. N N denotes fourteen. G denotes G denotes seven. L L denotes twelve. And E denotes the C. E denotes five. Now, if I tell you, just find it out. The highest and smallest number among this lot of numbers. Then we can say this is the highest number. It has to be the one. And the highest number it is the twenty. So smallest number we got one, and the highest number we got twenty. The smallest is one, and highest highest it is twenty. Now, if I tell you, define the odd numbers among this branch of letters. The odd number, I can say, you know the odd number. If you divide it by two, if you have any reminder, then we can say this is the odd number. Then this will be the seven. Seven is the odd number. One is the odd number, and nine is the odd number, and five is the odd number. So let us write odd numbers are one. Five, then seven, then nine, and the even number. The rest of all the numbers are even numbers. That is even numbers. It is even number. It is twelve, then fourteen, then eighteen, then twenty. Now among these letters, the numbers. Can you find out the prime number among these numbers? Can you find out the prime number? Then we can say the prime number it is prime number it is five and seven. One is not a prime number nor the composite number because if you divide the particular number one. You just cannot divide other than that one. So we cannot say this is a prime number. Prime number, the factor has to be the two digits, two numbers there has to be there. So one, if we cannot just divide other than particular number one. So five and seven here is the prime numbers, and our rest all. This nine, twelve, fourteen, eighteen, twenty. They stall the numbers are the composite number. Now, if I tell you how many numbers can be divided by two, we can say the twelve can be divided by two. If we divide twelve. By two, two six jar twelve. Then fourteen, two 
सेवेन्सा फोर्टीन देन एटीन टू नाइन्सा एटीन देन ट्वेंटी वन टू एंड दिस जीरो इक्विवेल टू टेन्सा ट्वेंटी इन आधा वर्ष द टेबल आप टू we can say this is the multiple number 2 is the multiple of 12 14 18 20 then that means the table of 2 we can say call it as the multiple we can say it is the multiple now if i tell you just arrange this number At in ascending orders, in ascending orders, then how we can arrange it? Ascending order. First, the smallest number will come first. Then one, then five, then seven, then nine, then twelve, then. Fourteen, then eighteen, and at last the twenty. In the ascending order, we will get to the arrange this one. Now, if I tell you one question, if I put just in front of you, then this is the number twenty. Number twenty. How many numbers can divide twenty? Or how many numbers can divide twenty? When you will divide twenty by number of numbers, that we say this is the multiplier. We can say this is the multiplier. Then let us see. Now, if we divide twenty, how many numbers we can just divide twenty? We can say two tens are two tens are twenty, four fives are twenty, four and five, then. If we divide by twenty, this will be twenty. So we can say the twenty can be divided by two, four, five, ten, twenty itself, and there is a one. In other words, this is the multiplier. So we have seen the multiple. We have seen the multiple. Multiple is the table of that particular number. That is the multiple. And multiplier, it is particular number. If can divide by number of numbers, so that we will say it is the multiplier. Take an other example. Am I right, sir? Suppose there are ten toffee or chocolate. How many people or students or boys you can divide in the same? So everybody must get the same share. We have the ten chocolates. If we There are if there are two boys, then how much they will get? They will get five each. If there are ten boys, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then each one will get 
one cup. If only one boil is there, that means we will get all this thing. So we can say this one, five, ten, and this two. These are all multiplier of multiplier of ten. We got that one. So again we can go for. For your practice, we took the triangle. Now you take the case of oval. O V A L. From there, you just see O stands for fifteen. V it is twenty-two. A it is one, and L it is twelve. Now from here, you just find out the prime number. Can you tell me which one is the prime number? No, there is no prime number in this. Other than one, all are opposite number. If I tell you, just arrange this. Numbers in descending order. Mind it, in descending order. That means from top to bottom. Descending order. Then we can say this will be twenty-two first, then fifteen, then twelve, then one. Next, can you tell me out of these letters how many letters? Sorry, numbers. How many numbers are divisible by three? Just find it out. This twenty-two we cannot divide by the three seven zero twenty-one. There is one is remain there, so it is not divisible. Then you take the case of fifteen three five zero. 15 yes it is divisible by 3 if you take the case of 12 the 4 is yes 12 also is divisible by 3 so if you divide divisible divide 12 and 15 by 3 it is divisible now next Out of these number, which one is divisible by two and three both? So this will be definitely twelve. We have seen twelve. We have seen it is divisible. Then before we divide it by two, this is also like this. Like this way, you can take any. One out of this rectangular, then circular, then heart. You take one by one and solve it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Before going, my request: please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And thank you. Thanks a lot.